Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Wanted to get on here today with June favorites. And these are gonna be all makeup favorites and fails. And um, I'm gonna do it as I get ready with me. I'm loving doing these as I get ready with me so you can see the things I'm loving in action. So I'm gonna do this as I get ready with me, but I will start with some fails. And the first one is a mascara. And it's this Fenty Full Frontal, I think it's called. And um, I just didn't care for this. I did not like this as much as my Essence Sculpted Volume or my Sephora Lash Craft. I just had to work too hard at this. I did get some good spidery lashes with it, but I had to work harder and I'm not that patient. So I can get some good lashes with this, but it takes a while. And um, I don't know, and they feel kind of light, which you may love. If you like a real lightweight mascara that you know you can't really feel on your lashes, you might give this a try. But I don't seem to like that. <laughs> I like to feel my mascara. And I also sent back the Pat McGrath Foundation. I was really disappointed because I love, where is it? We're using it today. The Pat McGrath Concealer. I love the concealer. It's such a good full cover. Did not care for the foundation. I really tried to build it and build it, and I could still see my freckles through it. And I don't really have very dark freckles, and I could not get them covered up. So if you want a good medium cover that is has a nice luminous glow, you might try that. But I didn't want to have to work that hard. I have too many others. One of one of them I'm using today. I just did not care for that. So I sent the Pat McGrath foundation back. And so those are my fails. And now let's get on to the favorites. I'm going to jump right into this and I hope you enjoy it. Good morning, y'all. Okay, so my first favorite, and we're going to be applying this to my face, is a primer. And it's the Bobbi Brown Face Base. I had heard so much good stuff about this. People raving about it. And I have to tell you, that kind of puts me on guard. For it like is that gonna be overhyped so I was a little bit skeptical but I love it it looks like that on that nail and it's um creamy has a creamy consistency it's a little bit stiff but creamy and the scent of it is so refreshing to me kind of a sit a soft citrus very blurring smoothing it's just really nice. So we will start by putting this on. Oh, I love that. Do you see how it just gives me the nicest healthy glow? And then down here around my shadows, it kind of smooths those out. And it's just so nice, beautiful product. Okay, then I don't have a favorite um, color corrector, so I'm going to go put my color corrector and my concealer on. I don't have either one of those that I am, um, that's in my favorite, so I'm going to go put that on and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've done color corrector, um, concealer, and then I set my under eyes. And my color correctors, my color correctors are the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away or Magic Vanish and the MAC Studio Fix, Studio Finish. Those were my color correctors. Then for a concealer, I used a favorite from last month, the Pat McGrath, this covers so well. And I set my under eyes with the Huda Beauty and Sugar Cookie. And this is great, so that's what I did. And now my next favorite is a foundation. And if you watch me, if you've been with me for a while and you really pay close attention, you will remember that I had this, did not like it, and sent it back. Then I was watching Mel Thompson, and she is already on her second or third tube of this. Okay, I'm holding up two, because I'm really right between these two colors. I have it in one into Ecru, which is my double wear color, and this was just, it's it's good, but I like to brighten up my, like go a, maybe half a shade lighter than I really am. And then I got it in one in zero porcelain and I mix these, but I could have really gone with either one of those. Anyway, okay, about this foundation, it has an SPF of 45, which I love, that extra in the summer. I do put an SPF every day and then this has an extra, because I live in the desert. It's always sunny here, so I like that extra. This smells, it's dirty, but this smells fresh to me, like cucumbers or something, just real fresh. 
And then it is also very thin and light, but it's got a pretty good cover. It's like a medium to full, I think, or maybe a medium but buildable, but kind of a thin consistency. This is kind of thin, and to get it to stick on, I kind of have to do one of two things. I either wear a gripping primer underneath it, and this is perfect. Perfect. It makes it wear all day, really grabs on. I think it makes it a little bit fuller of a cover, but if you don't have a gripping primer, you can get the same effect by, like I've already put on my normal primer, I could do a light dusting of powder, and that makes it grip on. So I'm going to show you that method because not everybody's got a gripping primer. So I'm going to do, before I put this on, a light dusting of any powder. And my favorite to do that with is the Laura Mercier because this also adds a tiny bit of a cover. All right, so I'm going to get a big fluffy brush. I'll get my BK Beauty. 102. I'm going to get my 102 and I'm going to dip it into my Laura Mercier. If you just want a medium cover, um, you know, just, you could just put it on. But I find I get a good full cover and it wears all day like this. So I'm going to do just a very, I put that powder in this lid and then I am a very light dusting of powder. Okay, now my face is ready. So either the primer, the powder, and then this, or a gripping primer. Works great. Okay, so I'm going to get a pump of, we'll just use the Ecru. So you can just see one color in case you're interested. I don't want y'all having to buy two. I'm going to do two pumps. Okay, hold on. Okay, you're going to look fast. See how thin that is? Okay, now I put this on with my fingers, and then I'm going back with a beauty blender. So I'm going to put it on with my fingers. And with that powder, that goes on a nice full cover. This is just so smoothing, very blurring. Again, it smells like cucumbers to me. And you can see that Ecru is pretty perfect. I probably did not need to get the porcelain. That is pretty perfect. I haven't noticed it oxidizing at all. So when I replace, I probably will just replace with the Ecru, and that is just pretty perfect. I don't know why I was thinking that was too dark. And then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get another pump, actually two. I'm gonna get two more pumps of this, and then I'm gonna get my Beauty Blender, and I'm gonna bounce out over my entire face, including my forehead. I just don't put a lot on my forehead. And if you found that this foundation transfers or wears off, try that, try this. That is as full a cover as pretty much anything I have, and it is, oh, it's beautiful. All right, I'm going to set this with my Dermablend powder, and I will be back. Okay, my next favorite. I picked up from the It Cosmetics website, the It Sunshine in a Compact, and this is in Warmth. I love this, and as I'm recording this, it's on sale for $20. I hope it is when this goes up. It's a warm color right there. It looks like it's got some red. Um, it's just a nice warm, that does have some red, but um, just a nice warm color. Goes on nice and subtle and buildable, everything I'm looking for. It's just smooth and pretty, and um, I really love it. So we're going to use this, and I'm putting that on with a BK Beauty 107. It looks like that. It's kind of stiff. Tap it off. And then I'm going around my hairline. You see that just goes on nice and natural, but building up pretty fast. So nice. Oh, yes, I love this bronzer so much. And that big pan, that will last a long time. That's a big pan. And then I'm going to go ahead and contour a little bit right here. I contour with, you know, whatever I have handy. Okay, next, for blushes, I'm going to show you two. I'm going to do one on one side and one on the other. And the first one is this NARS Exposed Palette. And I'm really shocked at how much I love this. Okay, those are the colors. And you've got this berry tone down here. And these are kind of hard. They're not powdery at all. There's that berry. 
maybe a baked gelée formula. That's the middle one. And then this bright orange down here, I thought that was going to be wasted on me, but I use that all the time with these two. To brighten those up, it lightens them up a shade and adds a little bit of a peach under it or over it. Beautiful. Then this highlighter is surprisingly subtle. Be, I don't know. With NARS, I kind of expected their highlighters to just be blinding. And then those two right there, I need to play with more. But um, sometimes I'll earth up one of these with those. But, and then I also picked up the Darling Blush Duo by Jouer. Now, I will tell you, this is a very subtle. It's a very subtle baby peach. And both of those colors are really subtle. I'll show you those. We'll do that on the other side. Now, I'll tell you, I use these as a topper for a cream blush. So we're going to do my favorites. Y'all, my favorite cream blushes that I've picked up in the last year are these MAC Glow Plays. And I think, oh, <laughs> I think these are all on sale. I don't know if they were limited edition or what, but I'd grab me some if I were you. I love these. So we're going to do a fiery color with this as a topper. That's what I've been doing. All right, so we're gonna start with this NARS, and when you use the NARS, this palette, you have to use this with a dense brush, something dense. I'm gonna use my BK Beauty 106. It's just stiffer and denser, and it picks up product. You can also use this foundation brush. You can tell I use this sometimes, the Real Techniques foundation brush, or blending, let's see what this is. Contour, a contour brush, that's real nice. But I'm gonna use my BK Beauty and I'm gonna go around in that middle and I'll show you what that looks like. I'll do it over here. And you can see it's just nice and subtle, but you can build it up. All right, now I'm going into the orange and that. And I'm building that up. Oh, so pretty. You see how, how soft those are? I was so shocked. I thought these would be much more pigmented and really go on dense. And they don't. They're nice and soft and blendable. All right. And then on the other side, we're going to do the Jouer. And again, it's just that baby peach, but I'm putting it on over... Oh, maybe not this. Let me get something peachier. Hold on. All right, we're going to get a, a peachier color with the MAC. This is Cheer Up. Hold on, let me open it. It's glaring. It's that. And I'm going to use... Okay, I'm going to use this contour brush. And these are kind of like petty. Uh, they just have the nicest buildup. All right, and then we'll go over that with this Jouer. This Jouer reminds me of a hourglass. Like, I just want to use it as a topper. Oh, this is so pretty. And you can see it just kind of brightens that up. Blend that out. So that's the NARS. And that is the Jouer. I, I think I got a better look with the NARS today with this top. That goes great. But if you cover my top up, you know, with an orange, an orange or a warmer top, that Jouer is going to be beautiful with that. But today, that goes with my top great. So I'm going to put the NARS on this side and make myself match. All right, and then I don't have an eyeshadow in my favorites this month, but last month I had the It Naturally Pretty. So I'm going to do this, and if you want to skip the eye look, I'll timestamp it right here, and I'm going to do a look with the Naturally Pretty. All right, I'm going to start with that, and a little bit of that, Sunrise and Sunset. I'm going to go into the Sunrise and warm it up with the Sunset. Tap it off. Okay, and I'm just going over my crease and up into my transition a little bit. All 
going straight out over here and a little bit up. Pull it down and then going using the residue and going under here a little bit. Just running that brush on my lower lash line. Then I'm going to go into this Java, that one. I've got quite a glare. And I'm going to do this um, outer V. These shadows are so easy to work with, y'all. So easy. It's such an easy build up, like a tart or a MAC. Just real easy to work with and not a lot of fallout, not overly soft, not complicated. Just a great everyday look from these IT shades. And I could do warm, cool, um, just so pretty. All right, then I'm gonna get my Milk Jumbo Stick, my NYX Jumbo Stick in Milk. It's this fat white pencil and I'm gonna do my eyelid. Just right over here on the inner. Just come out about that much. Okay, then I'm gonna get my Morphe M506 and I'm just gonna go into really a light shade. This white and maybe this down here, mix those. Like that's like a dusty baby pink. And I'll mix it with a little of that up at the top. And just go over that jumbo stick. I'm always amazed how much more lid I have after I do that. All right, I'm gonna go and do mascara and eyeliner, and I will be back. And for um, eyeliner, I'm just using a Rimmel in black, just a cool <laughs> little short um, Rimmel pencil in black, and I'll just go over my upper lash line. Okay, and then I didn't have any lip liners or lipsticks in my favorite, so I put on the Milani in Nude. I love these. These are probably my favorite drugstore liner. They're just, oh, I love them. And then I put on the MAC Bism Friend, and I love this mixed in with a liner. And then I have some glosses that I love, and I love everything about these. These are Anastasia glosses. And I have it in these minis because they came in a kit, but I like these enough that I will definitely try her full size. I love the formula. It is creamy and smooth and not sticky. These are beautiful. And then I love the um, doe foot, the applicator of these. It's kind of soft. It doesn't look wide, but it kind of feels wide. And this is probably my favorite color. This is in Nude, N-O-O-D. And I don't think she sells a big size of this, or I'd get it. And then we've got two with some shimmer in them. And then we've got another nude color. And these are all just, oh, they're so nice. I love them. I'm going to use the nude. Creamy. It feels, that just feels so good on my lips. Not in the least sticky. These are beautiful glosses. I will get more full-size Anastasia glosses. I love these. Okay, and then I forgot my highlighter. So we're gonna go back into this NARS palette, which oh, I'm loving this so much. And we're gonna do some highlighter. And I'm gonna use the Anastasia A23 that one of you girls told me about. I love this highlighter brush. Look how natural that is. It's like a, just a beautiful dewy skin. And that is the NARS highlighter. This palette, y'all, I love it so much. All right, and those are all of my makeup favorites for the month of June. Y'all definitely let us know some things that y'all are loving down below. And that is all I have for you. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Leave comments and questions down below. And I'll talk to y'all soon. Y'all have a good day. Bye.